Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. It's Alex, and it's the Ramble. We'll be here until midnight tonight on the east coast of the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the face you're looking at is that of Stephen Kravitz, who is an old friend and been around uh, uh, and a friend of ours for years and years and years and years and years and years, and years, and years okay? Decades. 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 So, uh, you know. It, uh, uh, and he's a comedian, and he lives in Worcester, Massachusetts. <laughs> which you say uh, it like it's a bad thing, huh? You say it like it's a bad well, thing. Well, I, I say it like it's a bad thing, but it's not a bad thing. Uh, yeah. And uh, 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 he, um, what, what? You're on a hepatitis me- medicine, right? 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you had like you had the Hep C, right, for years, right? But what, yeah, since 87. Why haven't you taken care of it till now, since this medicine is out because there? Because it, it never was active before. Oh, I see. When it's active, how does it manifest itself? Oh, uh, you know, I didn't feel any different. They did some blood work and said it was active. Mm-hmm. That was the only reason I knew. Oh, okay. All right. And I didn't have complications with it. Yeah. So if you haven't had complications, in, well, I guess it's better to take it because you don't want to spread it to anybody. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And it's spread in a strange way because I had a girlfriend uh, who got it, and uh, I met her up with her uh, after a few years, and she had come down with hep C. And we uh, we had a little sex sexual romp, but she said, it's safe for you to have sex with me, just don't use my razor blade. <laughs> I mean, there were all these rules she had that she had to uh, uh, go with, but one of them, sex, well, you couldn't get it through sex. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, but uh, she said, uh, just don't, if you're, if you're going to, there, don't, in other words, we can't exchange blood. Right. And, I think oh, I got mine from a tattoo. Really? Yeah. Son of a bitch. First yeah. tattoo I got was in a guy's apartment. I don't know how clean it was. Well, I, I wouldn't say it was that clean. Right, right. You know. So, uh, but I mean, um, well, that's you know, that's kind of um, okay. So you're taking care of it, you know. Right. So you say the medicine is like not fun. No, it's three horse tablets. Oh, a day. A day. A day. So at get, the same time. Yeah. And and uh, how does it affect you? It makes me incredibly tired, incredibly lethargic. You know, I just want to lay down all day. Wow. wow. I was thinking of actually calling you and not doing this today because I'm not feeling great. Yeah, well, you're doing fine. We'll, we'll get I'm through sorry. it. I'm tired, too. I'm tired all the time. Are you really? Yeah, I, I asked my doctor the other day. I said, could the radiation that I had be causing fatigue this late in the game? Like, this is like, what, uh, nine months later? And he right. said, absolutely. He said it, it could last for up to a year. Wow. You know, so, I mean, I have this fatigue, and uh, uh, what the hell, you know. Right, what are you going to do? I know it's not COVID, because my wife had to go get tested the other day because she had some kind of medical procedure. Right. And she tested negative. So I assume, you know, by proxy. Sure. I probably, I'm sure you're negative. Yeah, exactly. So, how's everything down there? Is Massachusetts still kind of uh, old? Uh, no, I mean, it, it, they, they, their numbers have gone up, right? In the COVID thing? A little bit, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, are you staying indoors a lot? I mean, are you sequestering yourself? I'm staying indoors 99% of the time. Yeah. It looks like you have a nice place there that you moved into. Yeah, sure. I mean, the place is fine. It's just, you know, very old. It's built in 1910. Yeah. So the heating is not what you'd call great. 
Well, this place I'm in was built in 1900. Really? Yeah. And how's the heat? Uh, it, 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 well, we have uh, the radiators, or right. as 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 my wife calls it, radiators. Radiators. And I told her, told her it's not radiator. I'm sorry, it's radiator because heat doesn't radiate; it <laughs> radiates. <laughs> So anyway, uh, 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 we have radiators, and it's one of those kind of things where every now and then you got to remind the super that he's got to turn it on at night. <laughs> right, <laughs> you know? right, 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 right. The first couple of nights of winter are freezing in here because he hasn't got it down yet, you know. Right, sure. Those, those things should automatically kick in at like, I think, 55 degrees, and they sometimes don't. And then, but what they do do is they do this clank, clank sound that radiators... Yes. Yes. Which is, a, oddly enough, you'd say, oh, how annoying is that? But actually, it's very reassuring. Right, it's you, working. You know that the ra the radiator is working. Right, 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 right. And it's right. radiating heat. So. And which is a good thing. Now, you got we got snow again today. Did you really? Well, it's Massachusetts. You're a little high, more north than we are. Yeah, and, and for some reason, Worcester's like in the uh, vortex of the northeasterns. Yeah, well, I, I, I look outside, and it's really sunny out there. In fact, I, yeah. you know what I forgot to do? I didn't even turn my lights on so that I look good. Oh, no, that's a big difference. See? That's a big difference. But I didn't notice it because I got so much light coming in. that there I really wasn't uh, that much a difference between the light on and the light off. Well, let's see. Here's light off. See? Yeah, and because you get all the shadow from the light from this side because it's coming from the window. Right, right, Here it right, e right. evens everything out. So. Right. No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You know your stuff, Mister. Yeah, but I forgot to turn on my my lights. I, you know. Well, one time you erased my tape. I know, I know. It isn't a tape anymore. Get well, with it. it is. Get with what it, is guy. It? You know. Yeah. What do we record on if it's not a tape? We're, we're recording on a hard drive. Oh, really? Yeah, there's no tape. Well, how do I know? What do you mean? You thought I was still recording this on tape? I had no idea how you were recording we, it. We haven't recorded on tape in years. Have you? Wow. Do you, Do you have a DVR, like no. for your cable, where you can record no. the shows? Oh no. Okay. Have you no. ever had that? I had a TiVo. That had a hard drive in it. Oh, really? Yeah. That, do you think they were recording it to tape? Alex, well, why, what are you asking me for? What are you asking me for? I, I sh really shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. It's wrong of me. <laughs> 100%. 100% wrong of me to do it. Oh, boy. I am so techno incompetent. It's amazing. My eyes are tearing today, too. Really? Oh yeah, my nose is dripping. It's it's uh, it's winter. It's, I get on uh, come winter time. Uh, I I issue st stuff from every orifice. Thank you. Check please. Uh, well, you know, I mean, I'm not talking about I'm <laughs> this here. In your face. So my eyes drip and my nose here. Is there I plugged up? I am. So, you know. So yeah, every, right. uh, outside of your uh, your HEP medicine, uh, and once you take the, the full course, right, then uh, that's right. all you have to do. Right. And that clears right, right. it up completely. It, it should eradicate it absolutely. And haven't they been able to do something for all the other kind of hepatitises too as well? That I am unaware of. I know they have a different couple of um, hep C medications. Yeah. One's an eight-week and one's a 12-week. And you're taking the eight week, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the eight and, week is three pills, and the uh, twelve week is one pill. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, hepatitis. I tried to do the plural of hepatitis, and I said hepatitises, but wouldn't it be hepatitis I? I don't know. I'm trying. Hepatitis. To this is after the new year, folks, that we're doing this, and and I'm I'm a little woozy, and so is he. And we're having, but we're having a nice time here, you know. We're having a pleasant chat. Pleasant chat. Uh, so you, I guess you haven't done any comedy. Did you do your big, no. new, do a big New Year's show? Did you? 
Oh, yeah. Big New Year. I didn't even make it to New Year's. Really? Did you make it to midnight? Yeah, because I, I'm up around midnight every night anyway. Because, oh, you are? Because that's why I do my show from 1030 to 11. Uh, to 12, oh. okay? Oh, okay. Um, and on New Year, what I did, I did a little special show where I went on at 1130, just do an hour and let people call up and kind of happy, have a happy New Year's party. So, right, right, right. But happy New Year to you, Alex. Uh, my wife, in order to be part of that show, had to wake up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know. Yes, folks, when you're our age. I, I actually fell asleep at 10 minutes to 12. Really? Yeah. Really? You tried to make it, right? I did my best. Yeah, and why did you try to make it? There's no reason to try and make it. Uh, ritual. Yeah, I mean, what, oh, it's midnight. Oh, it's a whole new year. Uh, what I, I love is, gee, 2020 was so bad. Welcome 2021. How do you know 2021 isn't going to be worse? Right, right. So far, it's just as bad. It's just what? It's, it's just as bad. It's just as bad. It's no different than last year. No. Just a few days later. <laughs> you, know. you know. Well, when we recorded this a few days later, folks. Well. Yeah, because this will be on about, oh, I don't know, about middle of the second week or something. Anyway, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, so, so you just, you didn't celebrate with anybody, right? You were just by oh, yourself. No. I was by myself. Yeah. I made myself a hot fudge sundae. Uh-huh. And then I made myself some popcorn. Yeah, that was my celebration. Oh, okay, uh, and 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 uh, that was that was the height of it, right? That was the peak of my evening. Yeah, and of course, considering COVID's going on, I'm sure you're not dating right now. No, 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 no. How do you meet anybody? Yeah, how? How? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm not gonna go to a bar and hang out. Yeah, and and these days, you know, how do you know who's ugly and not ugly? Yeah, with the mask on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have no idea. This has been no. a boon for ugly people like me. <laughs> because I look so much better with a mask on. Actually, so do I. Yeah. You, you, so know, I. you know how ugly you've gotten when you have a mask on and you go out with somebody and you take the mask off and they say, could you put it back on? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Could you put it back on because your goatee's, my goatee's not coming in. I'm growing it for the winter. Really? It's cold as hell here. Well, you know, the, the problem with having a goatee and wearing the mask is it has a little problem there. Oh, really? You, you got to get it kind of, uh, yeah, because he, he, it's fluffy. Like, I, I look at uh, David Letterman doing interviews and having a mask on, and it's like <laughs> all the beard down here. You know? Right, 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 right. It's almost impossible. It looks foolish. Well, the beard or the... In my opinion, both. Hmm. Yeah. But we got to wear the mask, you know, and... Uh, Wait, Alex, I think we're going to wear the mask the rest of our lifetime. I think we got at least another year of wearing masks, even if you get the shot. Right. Like, right. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm 81. My wife is 77. So we are in what they call Class 1B, so probably... By the end of uh, January, mid-February, we'll get our shot. Really? So, yeah, yeah. Oh, check this out. Check this out. My ex-wife, yeah. her nephew-in-law, was a big shot at Google and then a big shot at Facebook. And for Christmas, her niece and her nephew-in-law bought her a Subaru Crossback. Oh, really? Just called him up said, you have to be up tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. She said, I'm not getting up at 8 a.m. You, you have to. She goes out to the driveway, and there's this, it's got 10 miles on it. Wow. A Subaru Crossback. Wow, that was very nice of them. Wasn't that nice of them? Yeah, this is your ex-wife? Yeah. Yeah. You think about marrying her again just for the car? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. I, you know, I missed that. I've been married twice. Really? How did yeah. I miss that? While I knew you? In the early years? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, boy, the first, well, you met my second wife first. You did meet her. <laughs> okay. I met my second wife before I met my first wife. 
Oh, okay. And then after that didn't work out, we ended up getting back together and I ended up marrying my second wife. Yeah, and how long did that last? They both lasted between about 10 years. Really? That's pretty good. I, I, I know it's horrible to say, but in this day and age, that's considered pretty good. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. But, you know, I got, I got friends now that they're, they're all grandparents. <laughs> Son of a bitch. We are getting to be old fucks, aren't we? Well, you are. I'm still spry. Shut up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's Stephen Kravitz. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Alex. You take care of yourself. I will. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. Here we go. I, we almost didn't go because what happened was, they see, I have, uh, two, I have two lights here. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. It's having a problem again. Well, oh, son of a bitch. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, well, well. I have no idea what happened here. Hold on a second. I'm going to try and fix this. Um, let me see here. Where are we? Um, oh, we have that. Oh, there they go. And now it's okay. Eh, now it's all right. Now it's there. And it goes back on. Okay. And it's there. And, uh, uh, who knows what the problem is? Okay, well, anyway, it's uh, it's uh, it's working now. So that's all I care about. Jeez, Almighty! You know, I, I'm getting tired of this. I really am. I I just uh, I don't. Know, I may go down to one day a week. Uh, I I just really um, uh, you know, I'm getting tired of just the whole thing. Dealing with YouTube and dealing with Facebook and dealing with the lights going on and off and not working and working and See, now they're all working. See, uh, turn them off, turn them on. They both go. All right. So who knows what the problem is? Yeah, the trouble is these lights work off the Wi-Fi, see, because I can turn them off here, okay, like that. And then I turn them on, and they both go on, and it works through the Wi-Fi, and sometimes the Wi-Fi doesn't work right. But anyway, I turned this thing on and off, and it, uh, it suddenly started working, so... You don't want, you know, that's the other thing. You, you want to get the steak. You don't want to know how the cow was killed. Okay? So, uh, but this is stuff I, every day I have to put up with because I'm the only guy here. It's not like I have this whole staff of people who do all the technical crap for me. All right? In fact, if you're, if you're a kid and you would like to do the, the uh, stuff, uh, the crap for me, uh, give me a call. I'm not paying anything, but give me a call. Uh... No, because I, I, you know, I do everything. I post the shows. I get them on the, on the air. I, uh, t I put them on the YouTube. I put them on Facebook. I, I you know, I do all the stuff that's got to do to maintain this. I do. The, I write promos and I make this and I do that, and I'm the head chief bottle washer. I do everything, and uh, there's uh, there's no answer to the to the question of. Uh, of how I how I put up with this on a constant basis and don't go absolutely stark raving mad because you know and it always happens just before I'm going to go on the air just before I go on the air I try to turn on the lights and then they don't turn on okay now I'll try them yeah well they're, they're working now who knows all right but it always happens just before I go on the air something that isn't working or I got to fix something or Something's not working, uh, and it, you know all of this. This is we think this is wonderful, but it really is not a actual precise science, a anyway. So please excuse me if I'm if I'm griping about those things. I'm also just griping generally about the state of our nation, um, uh, and I, just, I you know I I'm, I. I, I tune in the, uh, to the newscast, and I'm getting sick of the newscast, by the way. I'm getting really sick of the newscast uh, because it's the same thing I in, a, in every hour. You know, I sometimes go over to Newsmax just to hear people lie, just to have a slightly different look at the news. I mean, people are just these, like MSNBC. It's the same thing every hour. 
They're discussing the same thing over and over and over and over and over until the news changes slightly, and then they talk about that over and over and over and over, okay? Um, years ago, I asked a, a program director that I had at a radio station why we always ran the news on the hour. And uh, they don't do that anymore, but they used to do it, where they would run a newscast every hour on the hour. And in fact, when I was working at a radio station where it was what we called a, a, a self-operated station, you know, where you, you, were the, you were running the control board, you were running the transmitter, and you were doing all the announcing and the news stuff and everything like that. Um, uh, every hour on the hour, you would run into the room and rip off what was the headline news and come in and they, they play your news intro and then you'd read the news for, you know, five minutes and then the next hour you do the news again for five minutes and basically it was the same news that was the last five minutes. And then you do one an hour later and it was almost the same as whatever. Well, I finally asked the program director, why do we do this? Why don't we just not run the news? You know, because obviously it doesn't change that much. Why don't we do the news say once a day and say here's everything that's changed and he said because people want to tune into the news to see that nothing has changed hmm you mean that minutely they want to know every hour that this story hasn't changed and that story hasn't changed maybe we've added this story and they go that's what they want to know it's not that they care about the news it's that they want to know that it hasn't changed that much and that's, but then you got some things like MSNBC, they're doing news all the time. So they're running the same stories every hour. Every host has the same stories. And in a given day, the news shifts about like that much. Just for people listening to me, just audio only, I just moved it over slightly. Okay, and they, it, that's all. And that's it. I don't get it, okay? It doesn't make sense to me. So uh, I, uh, I just... Uh, I, so I'm getting a little tired of watching the news uh, because it's it's just the same thing all the time. And then they say, oh, what about the impeachment? And do you think that uh, uh, you know uh, McConnell's going to do this and uh, McConnell's going to do that? And then it's the next hour, and they bring two people on or four people on to discuss it. And they say, oh, so with McConnell, do you think he's going to do this or he's going to do that? Well, wait a minute, they asked that last hour, okay? So anyway, I, I'm just... I'm just kind of, I get, I'm, I'm weary, okay? I guess because of my age, I'm weary. And I took what I call a nice pill last night, uh, something the thing called pregabalin for my neuropathy, and it makes me loopy all day. Loopy all day. Uh, and I may take it again tonight and be loopy again. But anyway, I got this show on the air, and the lights came on after a while. I had to go there and reboot. I have to reboot the lights. You know, whatever happened to lights where you just flipped a switch and they went on? Here I have to link them to my, uh, my Wi-Fi uh, in order to get them to work. I give up. I give up. I give up. I give up. Anyway, I think it's time to admit all the people in our panel. Uh, there are a bunch of people waiting. They're probably saying, I wonder when Alex is going to shut stop the uh, uh, shut the fuck up. Well, I've shut the fuck up, Okay. Look what we got here initially. We got Robert Natali, one of my favorite human beings on the planet. Uh, we got Alan, another one of my favorite humans on the planet. Charlie Wallace, uh, who uh, in a moment will give us his Dr. Doom report. And uh, of course, uh, uh, once again, we get him every now and then, Trucker Steve and his dog, Rocky. And uh, also here comes Jeff Stein. Uh, and uh, uh, how, you, how you people all doing tonight? Good, 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 good. So I'm just reading a story here as I was coming on the air. Uh, you know, I, I'm supposed to have my my uh, my uh, shot on my vaccination on um, Wednesday, and uh, all of a sudden there's news that at least uh, Mount Sinai and a couple of hospitals are running out of vaccines. But they say the city operated ones aren't running out of vaccines, and that's where I'm going. So I'm you know, keeping my fingers crossed. I think I think maybe what's happening at these hospitals is they're just taking all comers. Come on, you know, let, let get, come get a shot, come get a shot. Where, at like the place I'm going to, they're doling it out like 10 appointments an hour. So they know how many they're gonna have to do in a given day. 
and I think they're not running out. And that's that I, I may be okay, but you know, if they cancel me, uh, fuck it. You know, I'm just gonna go blow my brains out. I'm tired of this. It's a, it, yeah. I may as well blow my brains out before the COVID gets me. Yeah. You know, I'm in a foot race against it. And I'm sick and tired of being in the house. I have gained like 20 pounds sitting here. You know? And yeah, I'm, we got that bike that Marjorie got, but I can't stand that goddamn thing. You know? I really can't. You know? I, she goes, why don't you like it? And I said, oh, I got to, you know what? I got to take off. I've got, uh, I've got you guys uh, uh, with a, uh, a, a, What's what do we? What's the thing we have when we have a full uh, royal flush? So I got to get rid of that royal flush because we're not a royal flush yet. Um, let me see here. Let me do that. There we go. We got rid of it. Anyway, here comes. Oh, hey, look, Jason. It's Jason. Sorry, I got some audio going on. Yeah. So, so anyway, um, um, uh, I so you know, I mean, I'm just, I'm. It's getting exhausting. I just wanna. I, oh, so I can't get. On, I get on the bike and the seat hurts. You know, I put a towel on it and I try to make it feel better, but it doesn't say feel better. You know, and, and quite frankly, uh, if I'm going to have my ass hurt, it's better for my hemorrhoid than this goddamn seat on this bicycle. You know, so. Uh, and then Marjorie is always saying to me, I'm going, do I look like I'm gaining weight? You know, I said, I got on the pants, and the pants are a little tight. They're tighter on me today than they were yesterday. And I've been dieting, by the way, really dieting. Uh, under 20 carbs a day. Boom. Dieting. I'm gaining. You know, so they're know little, the they're feeling. Little, I know the feeling. Yeah, a little tighter. <laughs> a little tighter. The pants are getting snugger. And I'm going, you know, this is ridiculous. You know, and she goes, well, you just get on the bike. And I'm going, yeah, right. And she says, yeah. And every time I ever say that something's bothering me, they go, well, if you just get on that bike. You got to get one that will fit you. Hmm? You got to get a bike that fits you. That one doesn't fit you. Well, I mean, this one bike supposedly fits all. It's one of those Peloton <laughs> deals, you know. But what happens? You, the Marjorie pays $2,500 for a machine that has an absolutely, unbelievably difficult seat to sit on because this is what the racers all use. Well, I'm sorry. Buy another seat. Well, the, I don't think you can just put another seat on. I, it's, I, anyway, I get it on sometimes, and I do 15 minutes. I'm, I probably should do 15 minutes every day, but then I still am not going to lose weight, right? Mm -hmm. I had the prostate operation thing, which probably put some weight on me, and then the COVID-15, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm tired of it. I mean, I, I don't think I look fat, you know, but do I look fat to you? Um, you, look, you look plaid. <laughs> You, 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 Does this you, shirt make me look fat? I said to my business manager once, I said, do I look fat to you? He says, no, but uh, everybody else thinks you are. So, uh, well, and, now, you look very well, plaid. I, I am fat, so there you go, Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but, uh, uh, and uh, Trucker Steve is obviously in his truck. Because we can see that he's in his truck. It always looks, you know what it looks like when we get, we have another guy called Scott who calls from a, his truck too. And it almost looks like this is like some cubicle in a, yeah. in a business, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He, I, I, so when I look at it, I go, if I didn't see the pillow in the corner, okay, <laughs> I, would, I would wonder what was happening. So uh, let me ask you something, Steve. You got your dog, Rocky, right, with you. Uh, now, suppose you're trying to get somewhere because it's time to get somewhere, and you've got to, you want to get your stuff somewhere, okay? And all of a sudden, the dog has to take a crap. Do you pull over to the side of the road and t let him out? Uh, uh, when I stop to go myself, I'll let him out oh okay so the two of you Before, uh, two of you take a crap in tandem is that what it's about <laughs> pretty much yeah yeah um so anyway Emily that shits together <laughs> <laughs> he is an adorable dog you seen this you yeah. seen this dog yeah you know 
uh, and he takes the dog with him, which the dog really gives you nice company while you're driving, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he nods his head, folks. I have to say that for the people listening to the audio-only version of this. Uh, he talks to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, John Larkin, hello, how are you? Hey, pretty good. It says uh, hockey, so is hockey sockum. Yeah, I saw that. It's some graffiti that I see around town. I don't know what it means. Oh, okay. Well, whatever it means. Now it's we have the graffiti oh, here. My, uh, screen name. <laughs> yeah, screen name. Night, anyway. Yeah. And um, let me see here. We have uh, Charlie Wallace. Always is our Doctor Doom. He's the guy who uh, gives us the daily COVID report. Wah, wah, wah. Wah. We lost another 3,882 people today. Ah, God. When's it going to stop? Well, the numbers are going down at least. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, only 234,000 uh, new cases today. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, here in New York, yesterday, uh, the, the amount, the count and the amount, it, remember, at a certain point this summer, we actually hit zero in all of New York State. Mm -hmm. Zero. But right now, the deaths are, hold on a second, here we go, 202. That's up from 160 yesterday. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we're, uh, however, out of uh, 212,000 tests uh, yesterday, 6.42% uh, were positive. So that's down. We were up around 8. Okay, so that's down. And he says um, uh, total hospitalizations fell to 8,823. Uh, so I would imagine that's good, too. Because as these things go down, uh, the deaths go down proportionately. Right now we have uh, uh, 956 people intubated. Uh, and 1,536 in the uh, ICU. Now, if you're in the ICU and you're intubated, are you considered part of the ICU or are you now moved from ICU to intubated? Part of the ICU. Part of the ICU. I think they changed that to the <laughs> ICU later. Yeah, right, exactly. I'd ask Brian. He isn't here tonight. That's unusual. Well, Maybe. you know, intubation is part of intensive care unit. Oh, it ICU. is? ICU. Yeah. Okay. I see you. Listen, I, if, if, you're, if you're intubated with COVID, you probably don't stand a real good chance of. Recovery. I'll tell you, there's something that that um, um, uh, was I watched last night. There's a show I've been watching, and one of my guilty pleasures. I don't like to admit this is a show on Fox called The Resident. It's yeah, a, I like that show. It, it's well, a hot. It's a hospital drama, and but what's not wrong like with that? what. So what's wrong with that? Well, it's no, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. Have you seen it? Uh, a couple of them. Yeah, well, uh, the resident is a little more critical of the of the medical profession and more more than anything, the business of medicine, okay? <laughs> and so I've always kind of liked the show. You know, it has a love story going on between the guy and the, you know, the nurse and things like that and the, the other two people who want to have an affair but they hate each other and you know those are little things that run <laughs> along the thread of the of the drama and then they throw in the people who are getting really sick and they deal with some issues on that well last night they did their first show of the season and i i watched it and i almost had to turn it off and the reason was it was bad no depressing it, but that, that's why I think it was bad. It was so depressing that it was bad. I no, I, I didn't think it was bad. I thought that it it brought into view, you know, I've never seen any TV show where they've actually shown the drama of having COVID and being in the hospital and dying of it. You know, I, I guess I'll say at the same time, I was thinking, too, that there should be more shows doing it. So some of these stupid people who say it's all fake might yeah. understand a little bit more but yeah just the third, third version i thought was pretty bad the what what you what do you think was pretty bad i say their version on the show i thought i thought it was i thought, it was, I thought we got, I thought we got a really good commercial in michigan showing some of the drama going on in there and i think that's a lot better than that whole show did yeah well all i know is i like this i really thought the show was gripping you know uh 
And what depressed me was is that it, this is going on. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, allergies. Yeah, sure. It's mold. It's mold. That's my allergy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hey, you should have turned your mic off. Yeah, I'm going to sit over here more. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I did, I, I, I did. Let me go get my mask. <laughs> you know, when you have to sneeze and you got your mask on and you're out. I oh, that can make gross. a mess inside the mask. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or gross. either that or, you know, my nose during the winter drips all the time. That's Mine gross. Too. Okay. <laughs> and so now I've got the mask on and it's dripping into the mask. And I, have you know, to use, and I have to use the mask to kind of wipe my nose. It's terrible. <laughs> it's, because... better than, it's better than your nose drips during the winter than your penis. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh. So let's review. Your balls hurt when you go on the Peloton. <laughs> and your nose drips. I'm glad I tuned in tonight. Yeah. You better be glad you don't live here. Oh, Maron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. You know, uh, but you I, guys would have a fight over the bike seat. Yeah, no, 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 no. no but he'd no, never no, get. He never get on the bike. You kidding me? He doesn't look like he's a guy who goes out and gets some <laughs> big exercise going. You know. Wow. After all these years, he's calling you fat. What? I went down. <laughs> I used to go to the gym all the time. And no, I'm you used to pay you. for a membership I, I, all the time. Yeah. Well, I used to go oh, too. It's it never worked. But I went. It, it's 15 bucks a month for crying out loud. Hey, uh, how many months did you pay for before you actually started going? Oh, I don't know, about three years, something like that. And then I started going, but then I made up for it, man. I was going like five days a week and doing 25 minutes on the bike, you know. And this is when I was losing all that weight and everything, and I felt really like I should exercise. And I took a lot of walks around the area and so on. But now with COVID, I'm not even going out. I'm afraid to go out. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, stop being afraid, man. You're outside. You're good. You're breathing fresh air. No, you're not breathing fresh air. No. <laughs> you're breathing other people's air. And somehow. not outside. There's no proof of stuff. That when no, oh, there is. All these, no, there all is these protests that are going is on. Tran there is transmission outdoors. Like Absolutely. minuscule, all these protests that were going on outside, those would have been super spreaders, and there's no proof that they were. The ones that were going on inside buildings, yes, but outside, no. Well, I'm glad those protesters went inside. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> that became a super spreader event for sure. Yeah. You know, but. Uh... That's just what kills me when I see somebody walking down the street by themselves wearing a mask. Mm. It's like breathe some air. That's when you should be breathing air. Well, They're no, driving in their car he's by themselves. Not hurting you, Jesus! I hate these people. To people laugh at me for wearing my mask driving the car. How does it hurt you? It, it, but you're in your car by yourself. Hey, Why are so you? What? It's Jason, my face. Jason, my hey, mask. I, I, Jason, your toys, Jason, but, Jason, I I don't like the information you're trying to pass to our audience. No, <laughs> you know I don't, I don't like it because I, believe it. I think that it it it's compromising their lives. When you're in your car by yourself, you're not going to give yourself COVID. Uh, look, I would, when you're walking down would, the street I, by yourself, you're not going to uh, give yourself COVID. Uh, it, 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 that's correct, but you're not walking by yourself that often. When you're in New York City, try walking down the street uh, by uh, yourself. Uh, New York City might be different if there's, but we're even Detroit. You know, it's I not walk that down busy. the street in New York, and every time I pass somebody who doesn't wear a mask, what I do is I double mask. How I do that is I put my hand over my mask. OK, and I'll tell you that between here and the grocery store, which is only one block, if I do it at like, you know, three o'clock in the afternoon, I've got my hand over my face most of the time down there, going down there because of all the people not wearing masks or wearing them wrong or wearing them down here or wearing them as chin straps, you know. Uh, and the fact of the matter is that even outdoors, you wear them because you can you can spread to somebody else or they can spread to you if they're too close to you but you know I, why take the chance you know this is not a time to take any kind of chances listen 
You know, we have a person here who, whose mother just died this week yeah. from COVID. And uh, she died from COVID because the family didn't feel that they were compromised. So the daughter would come over and give a sponge bath to the mother every couple of days. And, you know, you, you think, hey, okay, I'm home now. I'm where I was born. I'll take my mask off and do what I got to do. But she shouldn't have because she was a teacher. And she, uh, uh, you know, then because she was a teacher, went home one night and suddenly came down with COVID. And then the mother got sick and the mother died. See, I've, I've only seen my parents four times in the last year. Yeah. But I it, used to see them every month, yeah. you know, at least. Right. You know, and, right. and but, but, when you I know, see them, I'm outside yeah. with them. And one yeah. time I did have to go into their house and I'm wearing my mask like I do when I'm in well, any of my keep, customers' houses. You should keep you know? your mask on because you're protecting them. Yeah. Okay, you don't know that you're not going to walk out of that house, go home, and suddenly find out I am coughing, I got I got COVID, I and I just gave it to it my parents. I am the one that is positive. Yes. So I'm okay. wearing my mask to exactly. protect you. Exactly. So that, that's what we the, that's what we uh, argue in this whole thing is that that you got to be you just got to be careful. Look, you know, it's also something Shecky, my friend Shecky, said to me. He said, "I'm not going out." I said, "Why?" He said, "Well, I'm 65." He says, "And I'm so and I'm going to get my shot next week." He said, "I don't want to get COVID on Friday," yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's true. That was, yeah, you know, it. I mean. Uh, God knows I still won't be able to go out and go whoop de doo after I get the shot because I got to wait till I get the second one. But at least if I have the first one, I have some level of protection. Okay. I want to find out more about was uh, somebody in, was it New Mexico or somewhere Southwest? Supposedly he was just had his second shot for a week and he came down with COVID. Where'd you read that? Really? I was just watching uh, NBC Nightly News tonight. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, those things, some type of politician, yeah, that, that's what they're saying, 95%. And he was asymptomatic. He wasn't sick at all, but he tested positive. He tested so. positive, but he never, he never was, he came out down. He, he wasn't sick. He wasn't he, symptomatic. He test positive, you're contagious. Well, you don't know how symptomatic he would have been if he, he didn't have the vaccine. Right, yeah. it could have killed him. Yeah. But yeah. still, are, are we going to get it and still be contagious? Uh, and, yeah, well, you might, it might be that. You know that we're what we're going to find out is that it yeah it gives you ninety five percent protection. That other five percent is a chance you'll get COVID. But if you get it and you've got the vaccine, it's probably not going to be as impactful as it would be if you had didn't have the vaccine. Yes, Alan. So to clarify, ninety five percent effective means five percent of a hundred people can get it with the vaccine. Just to yeah. Put the numbers out there. Yeah. That's, that's the that's number. The they thing. think they think that truthfully it's closer to a hundred percent. Yeah, know? you know. Okay, but, you but know, most most, you, vac there are the, most vaccines uh, like that uh, are not a hundred percent effective. There are people who get flu shots every year and get the flu. These yeah. the, these are not flu shots. These vaccines have never been used. This this process has never been used right for this type of thing. So they don't. So they also don't know how long the shot will last. Yeah, they, well, they don't know how long it's going to remain effective, which means that, you know, just like your normal flu right. shot, so you go back. Right, so it's not going to be 100%. It's get, going a, to start get a boost. Get a, get and a, it's going to yeah. drop down. And get a booster every year. Right. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. You know. that, that, that was the numbers I heard. Yeah. What, what did you if you actually got sick from it, that you're immune <laughs> for about like three to six months. But if you had the vaccine, it was like mm -hmm. nine to 12. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, it, I actually had to get a COVID test before just after New Year's. Oh, yeah. Why did you have to yeah, get it? It was negative. It was negative. Yeah, but why? Because I was uh, breathing problems, and I had a cough. So I I went to get a prescription filled, and the doctor said because of my breathing problems, he told me go get a test, but it ended up being negative. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I have breathing, I have breathing problems because I've always had asthma as a kid, and as I've gotten older, you know, you actually gave me a puffer too. Yeah, yeah. So you know, before in the old, uh, before uh, March, if you had those same symptoms, your doctor would just give you the puffer and send you home. You know, 
But now they go, well, maybe we just better test for COVID to make sure. But, you know, not every cough and not every is, is COVID, okay? No, but, well, it was a nervous couple of days for me. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Find out what the result was. Uh, yeah. Now you get them here, you can get them in New York in 15 minutes, I think. Right. You know, uh, but it, uh, you know, you, 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 you want to uh, you want to check yourself and make sure you're okay. Marjorie got a test about a week ago, and she didn't have COVID. Uh, and uh, I assume that if that's the case, I don't have it. I mean, I think I don't have it by proxy. Uh, but you know, she does go to work occasionally downtown, uh, midtown. Then she comes back home, but she takes a car down there and takes a car back, uh, and they're separated and everything's good. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's terrific, and uh, so uh, I I think we're we're kind of safe. But I want to play safe. I don't want to find that you know I'm supposed to get it on Wednesday, and on Tuesday I get COVID. Uh, you know, right. and it doesn't mean I'm not going to get it after I get the shot because you, you, it's about two I think two weeks before it starts yeah, being effective yeah. at all. And this yeah. is there's a I think it's 72 percent effective is what they say the first shot. Depends on which one you get. I'm getting Moderna. One's 52 and 170, so. I'm doing Moderna. Mm. I think, and, it, I think and it doesn't last very long. You need that second yeah, shot. Yeah, but uh, the Moderna it. is, I believe, 70, if I'm not okay. mistaken. And I think it was the Pfizer. When you said 52, I seem to remember Pfizer being at 50. Mm. I, I, think you're, I think you're right. I think uh, you're right. But I'm, get, I'm getting Moderna. And um, um, you have to wait four weeks before mm. your next shot. Yeah. So with with them releasing the the batches that they're holding back for the second doses or mm -hmm. whatever, yeah. do, does anybody here know how long does it take to actually create the vaccine? No, uh, mm -hmm. Brian might know. But... Yeah, Brian might know. Yeah, Brian would yeah. probably know, but he's not here. But uh, uh... that's why I'm curious about with you know the mm -hmm. release and that and give and, and which I, I guess if it's even seventy percent effective just with the first one, you know, release it to everybody, but. You know, you need the two shots, and you're not going to. Well, get there's the a theory. Shot. See, here's the theory. Here, here. First of all, we're still dealing with the Trump White House, okay? All right. And they have run this whole program terribly. Yeah. All right. Uh, um. It it it's been terrible, and so consequently, we don't know what's going to happen once Biden gets into office. But Biden's thinking is send it all out there. Get it all out there. We'll worry about the second shot later. But let's get as many people inoculated as possible. Started. Started. Well, the CDC disagrees with that. And I think so does people like Dr. Fauci and so on. They disagree with that. They well, say, you know, we've got to have enough. See, here's the theory I think that, that some of the Biden people have about sending it out now, more of them out. And that is that the people who get them now, a lot of people are not going to get it. So they're going to have a lot of stuff at each of these places left over more than they thought they needed. So, I mean, I don't know. But I, I, I do know that the city of New York, for instance, I had to do an appointment, and they were doing 10 appointments every 10 minutes. Uh, and I think they know how much they're supposed to have, and so far there's no word that the city is running out of it. But hospitals like Mount Sinai are saying we're running out of it and have written to their patients saying oh, we may have to cancel your, you know, your inoculation, your vaccination. Yes, uh, Charlie. Apparently, uh, it depends on where you live, too, because, uh, you know, I live in Texas and uh, apparently big cities like Dallas and Fort Worth and Houston are getting plenty of vaccines but they are not sending the vaccines to Austin. Why? We don't have any fucking vaccine in Austin. Why? Democrats. Because Governor Abbott is the governor and he hates Austin. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Isn't Austin the state capital? Um, the governor apparently is. Isn't, isn't Austin the state capital? So? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he still hates it. 
<laughs> did he, by the way, did he get his vaccination? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All all the legislators got theirs. Why why do we decide that somehow legislators are are, are it's necessary for legislators to get COVID shots? I mean, come on. All of Congress is getting their COVID shots, but they're not sending the money out to the people. Shouldn't no. they be penalized for that? Like, no shot for you. Right. You know, you don't get one. I mean, uh, has Trump had a, a COVID shot? Did he get it? I can't remember. He says no. No, he says no. Oh, he said because yeah, he thinks he has the antibodies and he doesn't want to take it away from somebody else. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah I believe that. Pence yeah. had it. Pence had it. Yeah, Pence had Probably it, didn't got he? it, but he's not telling nobody. Yeah. 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 How about Pence? I don't think Is he, he ever had He's COVID. had it. I agree there. I agree, Charlie. Did you hear about the two scientists that were going to China that tested positive for the antibodies? Sounds so like the beginning of a joke. So two uh, doctors go to... <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's, there, there was two scientists that were, you know, there was a, a whole slew of scientists that were going to China, but mm -hmm. two of them tested positive for antibodies of COVID. So they wouldn't let them in. Huh. Really? That, that doesn't make sense to me. It's like, okay, you already had it. So now you're kind of immune and you might be a little safer. So why are you not letting them in? They tested them for antibodies? Yeah. They should be happy to have them come in. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I was thinking. It, although they have, not, they have not shown that if you have antibodies, that protects you. They don't know if you have enough antibodies from this. Well, Here's, that's what I thought I heard earlier. They are saying that if you've got it, if you caught COVID, the antibodies in your body will protect you for about like three to six months. Mm -hmm. But if you got the vaccine, it's going to be nine to 12. You know what I heard today? There was some woman on MSNBC who was talking, and, I, and I, it, per, it perked my ears when I heard it. And she had had COVID. She came down with COVID. And she came down with maybe a mild case of it or, you know, uh, a, a, a case of it that was manageable at home and so on and so forth. And then she got over it. So she went down and she got her shot, her uh, vaccination. And it was fine, you know, and she was okay. And she said it was terrific. And then she went and got the second vaccination. And she got really achy and, you know, just for about 24 hours, flu-like, really bad flu-like symptoms. Hmm. And then it went away. And they say if you've had COVID and you have the COVID shot, that will happen on your second vaccination. Mm. Yeah. Maybe that might be something they're learning because I heard that it's the second vaccination. Usually people who are going to have symptoms, that's when they're going to have it is the second one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, let me, yeah, but, but they were worse with people who already had had COVID. Uh, that's what, that's what they said. Well, we, we, but, you got your hand up, Alan. So, so. Uh, with COVID, e either of the two vaccines can give you side effects. I mean, it's documented. Go to the CDC, the FDA, go to Moderna, go to, it, it's well documented. So most people end up with a sore arm and a little swelling in their arm for a day or two on the first vaccine. The second vaccine, the first one's called the primer. The second vaccine is called the booster. And the second one, really kicks your it's a it's a heavy duty vaccine really kicks no, it's the your same vaccine system. it's the yeah, same, same vaccine no different i, I, I get that i understand yeah. that I, I know a little bit about this so but so people tend to when they get the second vaccine tend to have more side effects the good thing is is according to them i don't know what the age is but older people have less of these side effects that that your body are producing that tells your body that, you know, you're getting a fever or chills or whatever, you know that the vaccine is developing antibodies. It's part of the process of any vaccine. Some vaccines yeah. are stronger than others. Well, from what I've read, for the most part, the worst thing that people get is just a sore arm. And, and I, you know, I get that every time I get a flu shot, you know, for the day, for the next day, this I get is, a sore this arm. This is a lot different than a flu shot. It's a lot, it, it is a big kick in your immune system versus a flu shot's a small one. This is kind of like if you've had the the uh, shingles vaccine. That was a pretty tough one too for a lot and of people. Most of, the, most of the reports by people are that they just had a sore arm and that was about it. 
you know, okay, well, you'll find out. Everybody's in. I'll find out. Right? You know, I think the most reports of people, it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a small percentage that even get a sore arm because yeah. uh, a lot of people that I, I heard in our local and they news, like to, they, they got, like they like to keep you there for fifteen minutes to make sure you don't have safe a, side, a, yeah. you don't have a uh, uh, anaphylactic a, shock. Anaphylactic shock. In which case, they then have an epipen there and probably shove it in you. You know. I, I've heard your nose runs and your balls hurt when, when you go on a Peloton. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, in that case, I don't need the vaccine. Oh, you're good. <laughs> I don't need the vaccine. I would hate to have it the other way around. When I want to tell you something. You're joking, Robert, about balls hurting, okay? Now, when I was younger, my balls were a little tighter into my sack, Okay. <laughs> And they didn't drag along the floor, and I didn't need a, 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 a roller skate to walk with them. But now they kind of sag, okay? Wait, let me turn my sound off for this part, no, please. And my, and I'm, no, I want you to listen to this because you've been giving me a bad time about this. <laughs> and, but the fact is that the first uh, couple of weeks ago, I got on the Peloton, and I sat wrong on that seat. Ouch. Ow. And my balls were balls up in my dropped. throat. Okay. So and what I, I hate as you get older is your ball sack hangs down lower, and if you sit on the toilet, they end up going into the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> mine Damn, clank, no, mine cold. clank on the side of the toilet. You know, mm. hey, throw them over your shoulder. <laughs> Can we rule out monetization for tonight? Sure, sure. <laughs> oh, I don't monetize uh, the live show any longer. I just My don't. wife got me ball deodorant for Christmas. <laughs> I'm so like, is she trying to tell you Hands something? <laughs> is she trying to tell you something? Was that a gag uh, gift? I I don't know, but it was expensive. It like? <laughs> ball deodorant was expensive. Yes. Can't you just take regular deodorant and wipe it over your balls? You know, I would think so, but I what don't do, know. What, what I, do you, I'm kind of scared because maybe what, you, what are you writing down, Robert? Are you sending this? It's all? right under runny nose. My balls are now a ball deodorant. I've got the whole show, so we can review at the end of the night. Okay, okay, and then you'll send this off to YouTube so they can demonetize it, right? Something like that. No, they can't. He's keeping the minutes because I don't monetize. Right. I don't monetize the live show. Because they yeah. always demonetize me, and then I have to just protest it. And then about 12 hours later, they say, oh, okay, it's all right. you know. And I just got tired of doing that. And so I, 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 it doesn't make me enough money. And if I can deprive YouTube of any money, I'm happy to do it. So See, maybe if I should have mentioned the ball deodorant brand, and they would have been like, hey, we'll sponsor him and yeah, double right. monetize. <laughs> yeah. 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 But uh, uh, I still have a thing going where I, where I have a uh, escrow account because they're not letting me monetize one of the episodes of the show because uh, they, they it, it violated something with music. And I pay for all this music to a company called uh, Storyblocks or Audio Blocks. And I pay them about 150 song. bucks a year for the music. And they say, oh, if there's ever a problem with YouTube, just let us know and we'll take care of it. So I let, I, I let them know, and they write me back and saying, well, uh, the comp we can't do it because the other the company that might be complaining, uh, we don't have access to them. So you're, gonna, you're on your own. You have to you know, fight it at, at YouTube. And I wrote them, and I so said, I found, what am I paying you for? Yes, huh? But I found ball deodorant. <laughs> with the travel with the travel size sprayer i can't it's called ball wash with activated charcoal it's good for your nuts your butt and your body and then the ball like sack bowling spray bowling. wait a minute, wait a minute. Are, are you are you are you indicating to me that with this product i don't have to wipe my ass anymore <laughs> well god wouldn't that be nice i always thought there should be like an ass crack deodorant and you should call it assistant I, you know, I always wondered about Maybe this. It's called water. And, and, and in, the, in the early days of my career, I was good at asking questions nobody else would ask. And I had uh, I had Stevie Wonder on the show. And uh, I, I said, uh, I got a question. I said, don't get too upset when I ask you this. I said, but how do you know that you're through wiping your butt? 
uh, after you go to the bathroom because you're blind. Because you know, we always look to see how much is it still is it still the paper still turning brown? I don't read. And I, I said it in a lot nicer way because this was back in the seventies, but it was, you know. And he gave me the straight answer. He said, "Friction." He said, "I know when there's no friction any when there's no when there's friction again, I'm probably okay." No slide. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm the same way. I don't I don't look. You know, when you got a big ass like mine, you go to look and end up getting it all over yourself. Yeah, well, I I, I, I look, you know, and, uh, and as I've gotten old, it depends. Uh, there the, well, I'm not going to get it. Let's not get into depends, it. Yeah. Because, because, because hey, I, Alex, I don't want, I don't want to give Robert Writers cramp, okay? <laughs> These minutes are a mess. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna make you the we're gonna make you the sec you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make you the uh, Secretary at Arms. Thank you. And every, every night, like tomorrow night, I'm gonna ask you to tell us what went on at the last meeting. Oh, I certainly will. I can Recall sum it up the last very minutes. quickly. Yeah. yeah, we'll have you we'll have you do that every night. Yeah. Are there any other body functions we should cover? <laughs> Alex, I'm thinking that maybe you Well, I would say cover all your body <clears throat> What? What? Alex, I said maybe what to all the people on the show, you ought to give out samples or coupons for ball deodorant. Hmm. There's no women here. By I'm the way, if, if uh, YouTube is listening and thinking of demonetizing this discussion, uh, we're talking about bowling balls, aren't we? Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And you want ball to deodorant also works for the mammary glands. Well, for the sound of how far they hang on you, they might be bowling balls, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> splash, splash on the toilet. Yeah, geez. <laughs> okay, let's show. Hopefully, the water's clean in the toilet when they take their first splash. Yeah, we, we got we got we got a COVID thing going on out there. It's killing people. How many deaths so far today? As of today, uh, Charlie, three hundred and eighty. As of today, three hundred and eighty-eight thousand dead Americans. Yeah, dead Americans, and and uh, we've got uh, you know still a president who's uh, insane, and we hope that he doesn't go crazy in the next couple of days. And we got all these things going on, and here we are talking about ball deodorant. Send him a bottle uh, of it. Goodbye. That's you why know? this is. I the haven't show. been keeping up with the news uh, for the last couple of days. Yeah. So has he been impeached yet, or what's? Yeah, he yes. was impeached. Yes, he's impeached. He's impeached. Okay, so First, now they have to try him in the Senate. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Are they going to get enough yeah. votes? You think? We don't know. We don't know because uh, Mitch McConnell uh, 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 is saying that he is not ruling out asking the Senate and his Republican senators to vote for for uh, but conviction. But they're not going to have the trial until after the inauguration. They're going to start it the same day. Yeah. And what's so funny is. Chief Justice John Roberts is going to have to rush from the White House, I mean, from the uh, Capitol. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, he'll be in the same building, so it doesn't matter, but he's going right. to have to rush from the inauguration over to the Senate to proceed over the beginning of the trial. Right. So I will bet you, I'll bet you they move at the last minute without warning that they move it somewhere other than you know, where everybody's expected to have the swearing in. Well, I, they, uh, I wondered why they, didn't, why they didn't decide to just move it indoors, you know, or, or, or at an... Because if you tell people that ahead of time, people are going to get prepared. This way, people that, are, that, are, that want to do bad things can prepare. And at the last minute, you say, uh, we decided to move it from inside, I mean, from outside to inside where mm -hmm. it's safer. Do you, I'll take the other side of that bet. I'll, I, I say they do it exactly where everyone else has done it because I think it's important to him and, and the look of it not to yield to those. There'll be no people, though. Well, they're not going to be people. Okay. There. No, because of COVID. Well, they have put up a sign. Uh, I'll get to you in a second, uh, Jason. <clears throat> I see your hand up there. Uh, there is a sign. There are signs they're putting up in front of the, the uh, Capitol that say Biden. Um, What's her name? Uh, Harris uh, inauguration. All right, uh, and that those signs can be seen 
from the White House. Mm. And it must be driving Trump crazy. Yeah. Just <laughs> crazy. Yes, uh, Jason. So did you, like my wife pointed this out, I don't know if this is a total woman thing or something, but Nancy Pelosi wore the same dress when she signed the second <laughs> impeachment that she did the first impeachment. And it was it's crazy. It was within one year. He's been impeached twice you know, it, in it, one, one year. year. One year to the day, I think. No, it was no. I think it was less than a year. But that's like I said. It was just funny that my wife pointed out she wore the same dress. She likes the dress. She likes the dress because her husband's bottle of ball deodorant spilled on, <laughs> on the backside. Is it time for a commercial yet? <laughs> dude, wipe. Oh, dude wipe. Dude, dude wipes. Dude wipes. <laughs> Where's dude wipes? Sell them. Oh, t- f- f- fresh balls. You last time you had dude fresh wipes. Balls. You had dude wipes. This is fresh balls. Yeah. From oh. freshballs.com. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have fresh breast to be included. <laughs> fresh breast. Yeah. yeah. When they got rub that shit underneath their titties. Yeah. yeah. It's for it's for oh. sweaty titties. For sweaty titties. Oh. They also yes. have... Why are That's you what? buying this stuff? <laughs> Ass wipes. <laughs> Ass wipes. That's awesome. And of course, we have dude wipes. Dude wipes. Our favorite. That nasty stank in the train. That's right. Uh, the uh, the uh, the um, uh, this are they tonight, flushable? Tonight's program is being brought to you so by this, this dude is wipes. Actually, a product. Fresh balls. <laughs> if you go to freshballs.com, it's right there. And and what and is that for making your balls fresh? Yes, it does. Now, who who bought that in your family? <laughs> this was kind of a joke. Are you, kind of a joke? But it, it, it was a sample pack. It came with balls, breasts, feet, and body. Wow. And then a pack of ass wipes. I see. Maybe maybe your wife is trying to tell you something. No, it wasn't my wife. It was somebody else, but I'll, I won't go there. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Do you ever see the uh, product monkey butt? The <laughs> Yeah, I've seen monkey butt too. I've seen that stuff in the truck stops. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I'll have to admit, I have some monkey butt. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'll show you my favorite product that I own. I said a pack butt of is the look of Mitch McConnell's face, right? I've seen this before. Hold on a second. Wait, I heard you guys talking about it. I had to jump on. God, I got to get a pair of. Wa- I, I tried the to hockey use game wireless went into a break earphones here, and there's always a lag, so I can't, I can't do it. This is my favorite. Okay, I've had this for years, and I showed this to a friend of my ours who is of the uh, Jock, yes. of the black persuasion. But I love this product. Oh, no. the dark- oh yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> it's darky toothpaste. Oh, okay, uh, and uh, it. Uh, oh my. God. Yeah, this has been. Uh, are you familiar with this, Charlie? Not until you showed it. Yeah, <laughs> darky yeah. toothpaste. And uh, it's uh, let's see here. Uh, it's made. In, oh, it's made in Malaysia. It's made in Malaysia. And Holly and Hazel Chemicals, the company is. But it uh, it says it's Darky Toothpaste. It t- they don't have a motto or anything for it. But what does it taste like? I have no idea. I, I, but ironically, it makes your teeth whiter, right? I guess. I guess. <laughs> And then there, there's the, uh, the actual toothpaste. I thought it was like licorice toothpaste or something, but it turns out it's this is toothpaste been in here for years, but it's white toothpaste. So. Uh, I thought it was maybe a licorice toothpaste or something, but they what? thin it out and and now call it ball spray. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's they, right. They have, they have, Repurposed. They have, Repurposed. There you go, Robert. They have darky ball spray. Uh, hold on a second. Let me get this back in this box. This may be worth something. I, I think I could maybe sell this online yeah. or something. The, on eBay, you know. There you go. Darky toothpaste. So. <laughs> Some Trumpster will buy it. Yeah. 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 Sure. Uh, and just, just label it that it smells like Trump. Yeah. You know? yeah. Everybody will have to have one. Yeah. But anyway, so I we I got we got to come up with something. I tell you, my wife, she got me into this. You know, 
I, I kind of, you know, you, you live in a, live together in a house, and you know, various times, you're gonna you're gonna fart. Okay, it happens. It just happens. Bye. It, it, and and you that's why that, that's the true test of love when you've got a wife and she farts and you go you go okay she farted you just kind of think you know but no my wife has bought us each two spray bottles for the sides of our bed <laughs> and anytime we fart we are required to spray the spray Dutch oven and I gotta no I gotta oven. no I gotta tell you I'd like to find a way to permanently attach this thing to her ass because <laughs> oh, she, my. you know, to begin with, she, sometimes she does it and thinks she's going to get away <laughs> away with it, right? Get the spelling right, Robert. Yeah, okay. And I go, uh, did you did you did you fart? Because I can smell. And she goes, yeah. And she grabs the spray and sprays. And I go, you thought oh. you'd get away with it, didn't you? Oh. You know. And then sometimes blame it on the dog. And sometimes I will fart, and she goes, "You better spray, or you know, I'm not going to spray next time." Tell her it was a COVID test. That's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> just sure testing to make it. sure you don't have COVID. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But I Burn mean, some candles. There's, but now there's a smell constantly in the bedroom of orange spray. <laughs> That stuff works good. The stuff that's made from orange peel. And you know what it does? Orange you know what it does? It, it takes a fart and mixes the smell with orange. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Orange yeah. ass spray. But um, <laughs> she uh, she's she's better at it than I am. Actually, she can wallop. And then the other thing she does. Uh, the other night she woke me up. She said, "You've been you snoring." And and ever since I lost weight, I wasn't snoring as much. I'm starting to snore a little more than I used to because I gained a couple of pounds. But I don't snore that much. But she, every night when I go in there, she's snoring her head off. <laughs> you know, and I have to push her slightly, and then she keeps snoring. And then finally I got to really push her, and she goes, what did you do that for? <laughs> and I go, you snored. No, I didn't. You know, but I mean, uh, it's like it's what's like it's right, Robert. So what it's like to be married. But see, right, the, the orange what's spray like has married? now made an association. When I was a kid, when I used to get the itchy diseases like chicken pox, German measles, measles, my mother would slobber all over me calamine lotion. Oh yes, oh, oh yes. And you it know got that, to the point where calamine lotion used to make me itchy for Christ's sake. You know sake. something? You know, calamine it's like lotion. Calamine lotion did absolutely nothing. No, it just made you pink and sticky. That's it all. It didn't actually dry out your skin. Why is yeah, it dried it out? Yeah. I have no it's idea. But, my mother, That's every time I would get a, a, a bite or something like that from a bug, hmm, calamine lotion. But mm. now if I smell that stuff across the room, my arm starts itching. So it's an association. Yeah, but I mean, calamine lotion uh, was, I think kids felt maybe they were better off with calamine lotion. It always know? worked with me. I guess she convinced me that it was going to work. I don't think it works. I don't think it does anything. I'm, what, and yeah, can I ask you something else? Will somebody answer me this question? Because it's a question I'm sure none of you can answer. What the fuck is calamine? I have no idea. <laughs> it's from the calamine tree. I mean, what the hell is calamine? <laughs> it's made from Jersey. Except the bismol, it dries up on you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it looks like it. Yeah, they, they, exactly. What happens is the company makes it into Pepto Bismol, and the stuff they have left over, they bottle up and call calamine lotion. Yeah. And then later years, they bottle it up and they call it fresh bowls. <laughs> <laughs> Another callback. <laughs> you know, it's just repurposed. Are we supposed to be bothered by women sweating under their breasts? You know, oh, oh capsation, capsation cream. Oh, That's don't the stuff they don't gave me for uh, yeah, shingles. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't ever put that on your balls. No, no, no. Oh no. No, no, no. You know this stuff? Yes, it's pepper. That's yeah. pepper. Pepper. Yeah. Yeah. No, sir, do not. Capsation. I put it on my head when it itches. Well, what happened was I put, I put it, it on in my chili. I, I, <laughs> my hand was hurting or something, and I decided to get some because I heard it before. And I put it on my hand, 
And then I touched my balls, oddly enough. <laughs> yeah. And then I had I was trying to wash the stuff off. I mean, because it was just burning the shit out of my water. balls. That was pour a milk on it. That was a famous locker room trick. You would take some Ben Gay, put it in a right. kid's jock. Oh yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A kid dance. <laughs> what movie was that? So no, I it was, we really did it. We actually did it. Yeah. I know that Robert's going to have the answer to this, but mm -hmm. calamine is a combination of zinc oxide and ferric oxide with some non whatever ingredients like calcium hydroxide. Well, I have I, zinc oxide over here, and I use it sometimes because I get dry skin up here and red skin up here, and it uh, it helps it, you know. So, you know, my yeah. mother used it too. Zinc oxide's not a bad thing for you to use for like rashes and things like that. Yeah. You know? Right. It, it, after you use the nair on your balls, you slather some. By of the that way, on. the more we've been <laughs> discussing this, the lower the number of people watching <laughs> has been. Why ever so? I don't know. I would think that they would want to know. Uh, you know. Yeah. And we were just going to get to sweat under women's breasts. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. And at some of your guys' age, you could just rub it on your balls and then just take your balls and rub it on your face, I, too. I, I don't know how to say this, but I actually, uh, when I was very sexually active, really enjoyed it when a woman got sweat under her breasts. Oh, yeah. You know? I wonder what the difference in the ingredients is here. To begin with, if she gets sweat under her breasts, she had them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Water, tapioca, starch. Oh, it sounds tasty. What? Mm, tapioca starch. Tapioca. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the ingredients of the breast, fresh breast. You add flour and you can make a cake. Yeah. Oh, it has tapioca in it? Tapioca oh. starch. Uh, it's too goddamn small. I can't read it. Hmm. Just hold it a little uh, It's got away. a bunch of long names in it. I could probably, it's probably got all kinds of shit in it. Does breast sweat smell different I'm, than I'm going to say something here. Here's here's an absolute demonetization tonight. <laughs> if you take your I wonder if I put the breast I wonder if I put the breast under my balls, it'll make them No, perk up. I was thinking what happens <laughs> if you put the stuff on your balls and the stuff on your say wife's breast and then you rub your balls on her breast. Will there be some kind of fusion Chemical that takes reaction. place that causes an atomic <laughs> reaction? They'll get mixed up. Huh? I'm going to try that tonight. <laughs> I'll, send, I'll send some over to you, Jeff. It doesn't work with dogs, so you're okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Well. Applies a soothing cream. Yeah. Dries a cooling powder. God, this is yeah. Prevents anti-shaping and wetness. Why not just use talcum powder? Yeah, yeah. This is this is more fun because oh. it might have asbestos in it. I'm I'm really I'm really enjoying this show, folks, because it, thank God we're not talking about Trump. We're not we're talking not. about any of that other crap that's going on. We could tie this into Trump. In fact, yeah, this is probably sure. going to be the show from here on in because once Biden becomes president, this is we'll just if, go back to the ass wipes and tie it into Trump. Yeah, but I mean, what happens when Biden becomes president? We're not going to have anything to talk about. Depends. Right? You know, so I'm going to have to go back to this kind of fun little chatty talk, which is wonderful, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to have to go search the web for new products and bring them on, you know, yeah. once a week. Yeah. Well, yes. New product night. Chemistry. Yeah. Oh. We, we didn't cover foot fungus, so, you know, that'll be another night. Oh, they have fresh feet, too. Yeah, well, I didn't bring well, that on. I, I'm I saving have, that for another night. Marjorie has this foot stuff I put on. It's very good, actually. Uh, and it uh, put you it can, on you or on her? And I put it on my feet. Okay. Well, yes, what, if you put, what if you put feet on your tits? I wonder what that would do. They're really bad mouthing us in the chat. You know, <laughs> uh, that folks, could be just to, tit disease. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, folks, keep sticking around with this discussion. We're going to hit critical mass on this one. You know. <laughs> We're going to take all these products and merge them into one giant. Oh, Last thing oh, in the minute. Is quiet. Last thing in a minute. It's hoof and tit disease. <laughs> Planner's warts on nipples. 
<laughs> oh, by the way, I have a little uh, <clears throat> a little wheezing today. <clears throat> oh, COVID? No. Nah. Hmm. No, you? Uh, yeah, no. I just I just don't want to get the COVID, and you know, I I've got I've got to stay safe until f- <clears throat> Wednesday. And after right. that, if they put that needle in my arm, I'll go. Whew. Yeah. You know. And then a couple of weeks later, if you still don't get COVID, you'll be even happier. Yeah, I go, yeah. I go w, double woo, you know. Uh, who knows if any of this works? You know, I, but so I'm far, taking nobody... taking my mom tomorrow. You're taking your mom tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Do are you, they are, giving it to you, too? You, yeah, you're going to get it? No, not yet. I couldn't sneak in. How old are you now? Uh, 63. Oh, see, 65 is the year now. Yeah, but I got that, you know, I'm a caregiver, certified caregiver, so <clears throat> yeah. I might be able to sneak in on one of those mm-hmm. one of those things, but I'm not going to push who's it. Your, who's your health care? Huh? Who's your health care? Who's my health care? Yeah, do you have Kaiser or something like that? I, I have uh, Blue Cross and I got Medicare, but I'm well, a, health, I, I, I I'm take a, care I'm a caregiver. Mother. I take care of my mother as a caregiver, and I'm actually certified in a lot of things. But anyhow, yeah, yeah. I'm certified in that, and I take care of an older man. And my doctor, I was talking to him about it, and he says, you're a health care provider. You can get in on this on this group. Yeah, that's what so I figured. Of course, of course, they haven't got me a date yet, but, you know. Well, well, I'm well just, I had I, to go I, online. It's in San Mateo County, and I had to go online and fill out the form, and I got – there was one appointment left, and I got it. And good. snuck her good. in. So good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe in a month we'll all be injected. Well, yeah. I, there is is going to be a certain measure of protection. Okay, I mean, you still even after you get that second shot, they say you got to still wear the mask. You know, yeah. it, it's yeah. still it, you, you got to wear it until you're herd immunity. Until herd immunity. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's going to be in the summer. Probably seventy-five percent of people. Yeah. I mean, who knows? There's if... no way to tell if people continue to not get the vaccine. Herd immunity can go for years. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So yeah. and even if it, it, and if they if they don't if if the other people don't wear masks, you know, if everybody wore masks tomorrow, we could get herd immunity. Yeah. You know, we could okay. stop. We could. St- literally choke this disease i say it won't be herd immunity you just suffocate it you suffocate yeah yeah but but people don't do what are you saying jeff my granddaughter is the most diseased person in the world because she's a basketball player Mm -hmm. and you think about it she's running around with 16 other teenagers and sweat puffing and puffing yeah yes Whatever they do. And they're getting sweat under their breasts, too. So. That's right. <laughs> I, well, we have the solution. It. Hold it up. We Brought have the solution. Fresh breasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This has been too much fun. We shouldn't be having this much fun on the program. No, we should. We should be talking about serious things. Yes, we should. You, you know. Nah. We should be having this much fun. It's too much. And I noticed the number of people listening up. went down when we started talking about all these wonderful hygiene products because we have a rather filthy audience. Yeah. And they don't like to hear they, about how they can clean up their act. They got embarrassed. <laughs> anyway. You want to smell good? Anyway, <clears throat> hope I don't. I'm not coughing, so okay. Anyway, hey, listen, nice talking to you once again, Robert. Be here tomorrow night because you got to read the minutes. Yes. Of the previous show. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, and and uh, and Alan, thank you so much. Uh, Trucker Steve, nice to have you out there. Just l- like the fact that you call in from the road. Uh, and are you off for a couple hours now? How many hours do you have to stay off? Uh, I'm doing my 36-hour breaks. So I got another night here. Oh, so okay. I'll be on the show tomorrow. Oh, okay, great. Love to see you tomorrow. Same thing with Charlie Wallace. Thank you, Charlie. Appreciate it, Jeff Stein. Uh, always a pleasure when you're here, Josh. Uh, and of course, John Larkin, thank you. And Kevin, thank you for bringing the products by that we can feel so good about. Uh, brought to you by Dude Wipes. Dude Wipes. Yeah. yeah. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, that's our citizen panel. They just give a big wave goodbye. I'll wave back at them, okay? There you go. Bye bye, everybody. Okay, there they go. That's the citizen panel. There'll be another one uh, forming, like. Uh, 
Oh, I don't know, like scum on something. Anyway, that will be another uh, citizen panel forming right after us on the intersection with Jack Bishop. He's going to be using Skype, and the address is GabNet Live. We'll see you again tomorrow night, final show of the week, Friday night show, big one. So stay tuned and be with us tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there and wear a mask. Okay? Good night, everybody. <laughs>